Chiefs Kingdom is in mourning. Norma Hunt, the matriarch of the Kansas City Chiefs, has died. The team announced the news within the last few hours. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell saying that Norma was a significant presence in the NFL. Union Station paying tribute to Hunt. The front of the building stark with the east and west arches lit in red. In a tweet, they called her the first lady of football. Sports Director Mick Schaefer breaks down reactions from Chiefs Kingdom and Mick, this loss having an impact on so many people. Right, look, she wasn't just the matriarch of Chiefs football. She was in a lot of ways the matriarch of the NFL. The wife of Lamar Hunt, who was part of the Foolish Club that formed the AFL, which led to the merger with the NFL, which birthed the professional football that we all see and watch and love today. Norma's family always described her as a huge sports fan, as evidenced by Norma being the only woman to have attended all 57 Super Bowls. Of course, she saw her Chiefs win three of them, and fittingly, the most recent one in Phoenix in Super Bowl 57. We talked with voice of the Chiefs, Mitch Holtis. She had great pride in her family, whether it's kids or grandkids, but then she also had great pride in the accomplishments, whether it's a player or a coach or someone who worked for the organization. And she would go out of their way uh, to make them feel special, no matter where they were, like in the pecking order of the organization. And then to also reach out to the fans. She realized how important uh, the fans are. Patrick Mahomes tweeting about the passing of Norma Hunt as well. Miss Norma was the best. Glad to be a part of the special organization she helped build. She will be missed. Prayers to the entire Hunt family. Of course, Norma's legacy extends beyond football as the Hunts made investments in soccer, tennis, basketball, and more. We talk with our panel about that legacy coming up tonight on Sunday Sound Off. Brian. Yeah, what a legacy indeed, Mick. Thank you. You know, Worlds of Fun sent us these photos of the Hunt family visiting in years past. You may not know this, but Lamar Hunt, he actually founded the amusement park. In the park, they've released a statement that says Norma Hunt's influence, class, and discerning taste continue to stand the test of time at Worlds of Fun. We are deeply saddened to learn of her passing and mourn the loss of an icon. Norma Hunt was 85.